Hi, my name is Gabe and I'm a product fatigue engineer on Gates Computer Aided Engineering Tools team. We're proud to present Gates Design Power Mobile. We've developed this mobile app to expand access to our existing software tools and to enable new features to make belt drive management and maintenance easier. Gates Design Power, abbreviated GDP, was first released in 2022 for PC as the new home for all Gates belt drive engineering tools. Design Power is built on a modern, maintainable, secure software architecture, bringing you consistent results across platforms, automatically updated product data, and peace of mind. You can also expect new tools to streamline drive management, connect users, and simplify physical measurements. GDP Mobile includes modules where you can store information critical to the function and maintenance of your Gates belt drives, and you can have confidence that your data is reliably and securely stored, easy to access, and presented in a way that promotes organization. In short, we've created Design Power Mobile to serve our customers and continually push boundaries. When you're ready to take advantage of Design Power Mobile, Open the App Store on your iPhone or Google Play on your Android device. Search for Gates Design Power and follow the prompts to download and install the free app. Once complete, you can launch and log in with your existing Design Power credentials or go through the simple recovery process if you've forgotten them. If you're new to Design Power, tap Register at the bottom and create an account to get started. Additional resources are available on the Gates website and YouTube channel, including more how-to videos, documentation, and a download for the PC version of Gates Design Power. Within Design Power Mobile, we're introducing a powerful new module, Facility Management. We've built this tool to make it easier for you to use Gates products, increase reliability and uptime, keep you organized, and connect you with Gates representatives and distributors. We've provided all this in a new, simple-to-use module in the GDP mobile application. Within this new facility management module, you can store and maintain details for the belt drives within the facility or facilities you're responsible for. The app can provide maintenance and replacement reminders to improve reliability and uptime. You can invite others to collaborate on your facility, including coworkers, distributors, and Gates staff, a useful feature for sourcing proper replacement parts and, if needed, for troubleshooting. This new tool adds powerful capabilities to complement Gates products. So, how does facility management work? After opening Design Power Mobile, tap the Facility Management icon and the module will open to Facility Management View. Here, you'll see all the facilities you're part of. The block on the left indicates status. Green means everything is okay. Yellow means that at least one drive in that facility needs maintenance, such as inspection or retentioning. And red indicates that a drive is due for replacement. You can tap any of the facilities to open and work with them, which we'll do in just a moment. At the bottom of the screen, notice the My Designs button. Here, Design Power saves any drive you've created within the DesignFlex Pro module. Swipe the row left to delete or edit the design. You can also tap the design to edit. DF Pro opens and you can work with that design. If you aren't familiar with DesignFlex Pro or have questions on how to use it in the mobile app, we have a how-to video. There's a link in this video's description. If you're new to this, I strongly encourage you to take a few minutes and check that out, as we'll need some DesignFlex Pro understanding later on in this video. Next, I'm going to tap the hamburger style menu button in the upper left corner, and you'll see that here I can add a new facility. It's very easy, just enter the name. I'll call mine example four, address 1801 North Lincoln Street, Salem Springs, Arkansas, 72761. This default checkbox allows you to set one facility as your default to add new drives to from DesignFlex Pro. 
Not a big deal, it's just setting which facility is automatically selected from the drop-down list when you do that. There's also a tool to merge facilities, which is super helpful in cases where multiple people have created the same facility. For example, if both the first shift manager and second shift manager for a factory each created their own facility in GDP Mobile, they could merge them and both work from the same facility, giving them a great organizational tool. Note that you'll have to be a manager of each facility for this to work. More on that in a moment. Just tap the plus icon next to each one you want to merge. Note you can merge more than two and hit the merge button at the bottom. GDP will keep a selected facility name and all your drives will carry over. After a minute, you'll see the duplicate facility is gone and all its drives have moved into the merged facility. Here on the facility view, you can see all the facility's drives and their status. Let's go back up to that hamburger style menu button and note that we have some new functions for this specific facility. I can add a new drive. After giving it a name, DF Pro comes up allowing me to create my drive. We'll go through that in more detail in a moment. I can invite a distributor contact to my facility. The list is pre-populated, so just scroll or search for your distributor. There's also a way to invite, via email, a new distributor contact to add their name to GDP Mobile. The distributor feature is useful because it allows you to share data about your drives, including part numbers, so they can help you get the correct replacements. You can also manage coworkers by tapping here. You'll notice the manager checkboxes next to each name. Users with a manager role have broader permissions like inviting and removing coworkers, changing details like facility name and address, and deleting the facility. The person who creates the facility is given a manager role. If you are a manager and you want to add or remove other managers, tap the box by their name. Below, you'll see a button to add a coworker to your facility. Enter their email address, and this will send your coworker an automated email message to join. Once they've accepted, you can all collaborate on your drives to view and enter maintenance dates, tension, and other drive details. If you need to remove a coworker, swipe their name to the left and tap the delete button. Back on the facility view, Let's tap one of these drives and see what we can do with it. Here, we see a drive summary, including the name, install date, install tension, and maintenance due date. Tap Edit below to change any of this information. There's a list of status notifications. You can delete the drive out of your facility. I don't want to, so I'll hit No. Tap Drive Details to bring up a DesignFlex Pro report listing everything important about this drive. At the top, note that you can export this drive detail report, or you can hit Edit Drive to open DF Pro and make changes. We'll do that now, and even though we're editing a design that already exists in a facility, this is going to also serve as a good example of adding a drive to a facility. Basically, the process of storing DesignFlex Pro information in facility management is the same, regardless of whether you're creating a new drive starting in DesignFlex Pro, creating a new drive from a facility within facility management, adding an existing design from my designs to an existing facility, or, as we're doing now, editing a design that's already part of a facility. One important point is that you'll have to select a specific solution before you can store anything in facility management. This goes back to the core of how DesignFlex Pro works. As a reminder, on the input view here, we're defining as many of our drive conditions as we can. Then, DF Pro recommends all solutions meeting our criteria. It's up to us to select the best one for our needs. Now, to apply this concept to our example of editing an existing design, keep in mind that if you make any changes on the input, you'll have to view the possible solutions and select a new one before anything will change on your drive in facility management. To illustrate this, I'll change my power to 100 horsepower. 
Maybe our last motor was undersized and we got a new one. If I hit the calculator button and wait for DF Pro to run through all those possible solutions, you'll see a note at the bottom that I need to select a new solution. You can use any of DF Pro's tools to do that. Again, see our DF Pro how to for more detail. Once you've made your choice, tap the printout button, and if everything looks good there, tap the Add to Facility Management button and edit any pertinent information here. You'll see this screen anytime you're adding a DF Pro design to facility management. These arrows shortcut to our extended support tools. For example, our sound level meter. When I navigate back, notice that the value has updated to reflect the measurement. We have another how-to video, link in the description, covering those extended support tools. Now touch Apply. Note that my selected solution in DF Pro now has a red header, meaning it's selected and stored in facility management. Those are the details of the facility management module in Gates Design Power Mobile. As always, if you have any app questions, feedback, or concerns as you're working with facility management in Design Power Mobile, reach out to Gates Design Software Support at gates.com. For belt drive technical assistance, contact ptpasupport at gates.com. Thanks and enjoy Gates Design Power Mobile.